All right, guys, welcome to the next season of Road to Super Sonic Legend. I know you guys really enjoyed the last one, so now that we completed the, the 2v2, we're going to be jumping into 3v3 this time around. So that way we can try to work around two more teammates and hopefully allow them to be the ones that score as we move up through the ranks. Now, I did get in trouble by Psyonix in the last series at the beginning when I admitted that I went way down into bronze. So this time I'm just going to be doing uh, the placement matches and see where we end up, probably around gold or uh, platinum even. So if you are in the lower ranks that are below what we end up in these placements, be sure to check out the first playlist where we play in 2v2 and rank up right from bronze. But as always, because of these Road to Super Sonic Legends series episodes, we've been jumping into different names and pictures. So for this first one, I thought I'd come up with one and call it Shrub Killer. So I got to come up with a photo for Shrub Killer. And I, honestly, I searched up person cutting shrubs and I think the first one's perfect. So let's put this in Photoshop and then grab Scrub Killer. All right, ignore that one. That was the last one from the, <laughs> the last step of the, the last season. Oh my gosh. Let's just uh, make this guy way bigger here. That seems about good. Probably gonna make Scrub Killer's head bigger than than the normal guy's head because we got the uh, the nice uh, weed whacker. <laughs> I feel like using young Scrub Killer would be funny. This one's also kind of cursed, but Rock Lee's kind of cutting into his head. So I think, I think we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, his head's cut off. Oh, that's okay. We'll use this one. It's pretty good. Let me just grab his head first, and then we'll kind of chip away at it. No pun intended. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Why has this become a thing on my channel? Seriously. It's become like a staple of this channel, is, is these stupid photos. But hey. We'll, uh, we'll make it work. How's that? <laughs> All right, that's good enough. All right, and here we are. It's beautiful, honestly. Uh, Scrub Killer, I hope you don't mind. But we're gonna jumping into the new season here, season three. And uh, as you can see, we're unranked and everything. But our, our rank in 2v2 is still at 1540. I think it dropped down uh, to that. That's kind of where everyone ended up being at in 2v2 if they were in SSL. But as you can see, 1v1 and 3v3 are both at 600 rank MMR. So as I said, bronze is a little bit lower than this. But I think if we just jump into the games and see where we end off, it's probably the best way to go about this. So let's jump into the games and hope they go well. Just a quick reminder too that if you are new to the channel or you're new to these uh, episodes of Road to Super Sonic Legend, we're gonna be jumping all the way up into Super Sonic Legend. Obviously, that's the point of this uh, this series. But we do have a playlist that you can follow and also subscribe to the channel uh, to keep up to date. But let's jump into these games and see how it goes. It's gonna be really weird jumping from last season where we were. Uh, reaching SSL at the very end to now going back into a rank like this where we have to kind of be a little more careful. Right here I'm last man, so I'm just gonna pop it towards the backboard and see what my... Oh, this is really low level. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna wait behind. I'm last man. And try and let my teammates uh, help a little bit. Oh my goodness. So I'll move up a little bit. As you can see, I'm just holding on my boost in middle. I'm just gonna be waiting for... Uh... Oh, good center. Right here, I'm gonna boost backwards because the ball's towards the target. I'm just gonna tap it to the side. I know it's like pretty advanced, but I'm just gonna stay in front of this ball right here. My teammate's on top of me. Because he's with me, I'm just gonna move to the middle instead. It's so weird moving back from uh, very fast gameplay back to this. As you can see, I'm just trying to keep space. Both my teammates are on top of me. That's fine. But once again, I'm just trying to play that reserved role. If you're playing solo, I, I highly recommend you try this position. This might just go in. <laughs> oh no, I just... <laughs> I just sat still for so long, uh, but what a start and we got someone leaving already. So <laughs> Not the greatest start But we got someone who's not playing Pandora bear and right here I'm just gonna try and wait for this ball. I can wait here and see what happens See if anyone gets in the way now. I'm just gonna pop it towards target. Hopefully get a save. Good try Whoa, can I let that in because it's obviously a really fast ball and uh, at this level, it might be a little bit difficult. Um, that was a good pinch. Ended up making it work. You know, I don't know why Oakley left after one goal went in, but... I don't know why, but I seem to associate lower level with not boosting. But people boost a lot. I think the big thing about, like, when you're lower level is to make sure you don't boost too much to the point where you waste too much boost. So try to hold onto it unless you're using it um, for the ball or repositioning or getting back faster. That's just going to roll in again. Oh, boy. So we got to end up getting another goal... Uh, just from tapping the ball once right here. I think that like at this level, every, like as long as you can get the ball on target, you'll tend to get a lot of goals. So if you go into free play and just practice shooting the ball towards target, you're probably going to find uh, a lot of success in the lower ranks. 
It's kind of a mess. Honestly, because this is a 2v3, we might just skip the rest of this game and uh, and see uh, see where we end off uh, in the next one. Hopefully, uh, we can actually see players who aren't like at 102. That's literally bronze, like one, I believe. Uh, and negative 99 is like wood five. I don't even know what that is. I don't know what it is about these lower ranks too, but I see so many more sign up players at the very start, and then it kind of starts to dwindle away. That that has to tell you something, right? That PC is just better for this game to be better at the game. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just a uh, placebo. But there's definitely an advantage to FPS and everything. And speaking of FPS, by the way, if you are new and you didn't know, they added a new uh, a new uh, slider here for frames per second. I don't like to go 360 or, or uncapped. Definitely not uncapped because a fluctuation in frames is really, really bad for Rocket League. Um, but 360 might be pretty stren strenuous on most computers. So I like to just do 240. I wish there was like a slight overcap of 240, like uh, like 250 or something. That way there's no like missing frames, but it's fine. I think we'll, we'll stick with 240 for sure. You definitely don't want to go uncapped, I don't think, because it's pretty bad. I know that this game also calculates... Um, like your movements depending on how many frames per second you have but we've been used to 240 and uh it's it's good enough i would say weird weird start to the series i'm um, definitely excited for 3v3 though because there's a lot more uh depth to it and a lot more freedom when you go for things and uh we'll see how that oh whoops i shouldn't do a speed flip that wasn't really a speed flip i stopped myself but still i shouldn't be doing stuff like that good bump i feel kind of bad for these guys they've they, they've stuck around the whole time they don't really need to you can definitely leave after someone abandons it won't hurt you so They've definitely fixed issues with that. It shouldn't be a problem if you leave. I mean, I know people are just trying to play and, and get used to the game, but sometimes it is, it is good to just move on and play the next one. We ended up getting 100 plus 523. I'm kind of confused. I'm not really sure what's happening. But it said we were at 600. Okay, so uh, that must be what was going on. We have like a, a hidden MMR of 600, but it's like actually telling us that we're at 100 until we win the first game. Now that we won the first game, we're up to up to 623 i'm not really sure but let's move on to the next game i feel like that first game was kind of like a test like rocket league testing us to see where we're at and if you win the first game it kind of like tells you that we're that you're like not at bronze one so it kind of puts you up higher to see if you can handle higher level players um and then it'll kind of balance you out with like losses and stuff um i think that's like kind of what their system is trying to do it's not perfect but honestly there is no perfect system it's impossible to like know the perfect answer because there's so many different people and different skill levels and also uh, everyone's kind of different in how they learn and how fast they are and what they're good at because like obviously some people can air dribble some people can flip reset uh i'm not saying i'm not saying that at this level you can i'm just saying that like at a certain rank like champ one or something there might be people, people who can't dribble but they can hit the ball really hard there might be people, people who can't hit the ball really hard but they can dribble really well and stuff like that so I get that there's a there's a problem with the rank system, but at the same time, there isn't really like a perfect solution. So, you know, before you complain about it, I mean, everyone can complain about it, but before you do, try to think of like why it's the way it is. Let's jump to the next game. That's so bizarre. See, like our number is 623 MMR, but like we're running into 200s now because we won the first game. I'm not really sure what's going on. Probably Baki's mod, like the mod that I use for this to like see the MMR. Oh, take the shot. Okay, no, no left goes. That's fine. But we're moving up into like players who can actually like, you know, anticipate the ball already in the second game. And this guy's already dribbling pretty well. Let's see if he keeps up with the ball. Bit of a miss. Good save. Let me win, it says. Uh, no, thank you. Pop this off the, the side wall and uh, see if my teammates can move up. I'm trying to move behind my teammates, but none of them want to move up. Let's see if this guy goes for it. I'm going to fill this, fill the gap and try to be second man there. Just clear to the corner. I'm going to wait behind my teammate in the corner here and see what he does. Good try. Once again, just filling the gap. And uh, that might go in. Yeah. So all I did there was just roll up towards the ball. Um, and then try to pop it towards the net. Um, I definitely... Okay, what is going on with their team? They're already spamming. <laughs> I just popped it towards the net. It wasn't like a big deal. Um, if you can just, like I said, put shots on target at this rank, you will find yourself rank up at a bronze real, real fast. So go into free play and just get used to tapping the ball like this. And just try to put it towards target. All three players just bumped into each other. They're in a party too, so both my teammates went. So once again, I'm just kind of sitting in this position right here as a third man. That way I'm far enough that any ball that spills out, I can be behind. Now I'm still last, so I'm just going to wait for one of my teammates to try and get back. Now this ball is spilling out to me. Whoa! <laughs> Ow. So I let this Pegliassi guy or whatever, um, he, he likes to be on the ball, I see. So I'm just going to be careful of him. 
So right now I have space. There we go. Got a good challenge. I'll move behind my teammate. Good try. I'm going to try and give my teammate the confidence to move up. He's really scared to go up, but he, he finally decided to go uh, to the ball. I'm going to wait for the ball to land here and try to stay with it. There we go. My teammate tried to go for it too, but I'm still there. Just going to wait in the corner. See what happens. Oh, nice. And both my teammates saw the open net once I rolled in front and they got the uh, they got the goal for us. So not too bad. I did score the first one. I didn't. I said I was going to try not to, not to score, but honestly, I think that uh, my teammates are honestly playing pretty well. Like they're they're moving around and, and keeping an eye on the ball. That one guy was scared as third man to go, which is good that he's mindful of the fact that because he is last man, committing is really dangerous. It could go really bad for you. And my controller DC'd. Yep. Yep. And now it's not... What? What? Am I back? Hello? Okay, we're back. That has happened to me... Oh. <laughs> That's happened to me before. Um, and I'm kind of scared of that because this controller... I don't know if it's the controller or the wire. I might replace the wire to make sure. Yeah, that's happened to me in ranked before in SSL. Is this ball's going to spill to me. Both my teammates went, so I'm just going to be careful. I saw them try to go, so I'm just going to stay with this. Bit of a bump. Good pop from my teammate. We're up a goal, so we're pretty comfortable here. We're just going to wait. See, there's some space. My teammate kind of bumped me, though. He wants it again. And you can see how I'm just kind of being the... You can bleep this out, Danny, but I'm kind of being the bitch of the team. <laughs> and that's okay, because honestly, I'd rather be the one that's safe and sitting behind and being careful. Right here, I see the ball rolling to the corner. I know that I can boost a little bit to reach the ball. Once you play the game a lot more, you'll know uh, how much boost you kind of need to get to a position. I'll wait for the next touch. Kind of missed it, though. So I'm waiting for the next player to hit the ball. There we go. Flip, flip it up. I'm trying to wait for the ball to be above my car. That way I can flip it up and sort of pop it above my car. Nice tip. So Pegliassi yes, kind of went into the corner a little bit too heavily. And he realized that he couldn't reach it. Right here, there's two players rushing down the ball. So I got to be a little bit careful challenging the corner. Now I can turn on it. He may kind of cut the rotation, which is fine. I stay with this and pop off the sidewall. You see how he didn't that that player on the back end didn't boost, and he could have boosted to try and get in the position. There we go. I'm just gonna cut that off early because it's gonna throw them off. To be able to get to this, pop off the backboard. And now I'm just gonna move behind. I could go for this follow up, but like I said, I'm trying to let my teammates do a lot more work. Good try and great shot. There we go. And also at this at this uh, level at this rank, you have to know that. Players aren't really going to be, uh, um, what's it called? Players aren't going to be really too fast. So you know that they're not really going to uh, be right on the ball the second that it pops into a dangerous position. So you kind of have to know that and uh, take advantage of the fact that there's a lot more space than you think. Even in 3v3. I know people are like, oh, there's there's six players on the field. There's no way that you have space. There is space. You just got to find it. Like right here, there's space right here. So I can just wait. <laughs> Never mind. My teammate thought there was no space. Right here, it's going to spill out. That should be pretty much first game, or not first game, second game, technically. I mean, first game was kind of messy, but uh, that's going to be the second game, and we're probably going to move into the 300 rank in the next episode, uh, the next uh, game. We actually moved up 48 points. I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, unranked is really interesting. It's kind of wild. So you can see we're in bronze two in this episode so far. Um, I think by the end of this episode, we'll probably be in the silver rank um, at the end of it. Let's jump into the next game and see if uh, if we end up in bronze three. Now, I know this episode is called Imagine Starting the Road to SSL again, um, but I don't know if I'll continue the Imagine series. I know you guys thought it was really funny and that it became an ongoing joke on the channel, but, you know, let me know if you guys want me to keep doing that or try to change it up. I think so far it's it's, it's been a, a wild ride with the last series. And uh, in this episode, you can see there's... It's definitely a lot more chaotic at the start, but you'll see that as we move through the ranks and, and through the episodes, it's going to get a lot more uh, organized as we play. Uh, but right now, it's quite a quite a mess. There we go. Still in the mid. Good try for my teammates. I gotta get back now as fast as possible. Ended up missing, though. So I'm gonna stay with this in front and try to wait for the opponent. There we go. Great shot. And what the heck? Excuse me? I'm gonna run that back real quick. Sheesh. Uh, what? Sheesh. Are we freestylers up in here? Sheesh. Yeah, <laughs> sheesh. All right, good play. Oh, so the guy ended up missing the ball a little bit. I'm last man. Both my teammates are in the net right now. So I gotta find my first opening and then take it. That might just spill in. 
Yeah, that's my bad. I shouldn't have scored that. Yeah, I should have done that. That's really dumb of me. I, I tried to just pop it, and then I just like my muscle memory just kind of told me to shoot. <laughs> oh, I made someone leave. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's my punishment. I gotta stop moving. I gotta stop playing. What a shot. Let's go. What a shot, boy. <laughs> they deserve it. I kind of uh, I kind of scored that a little too prematurely, and uh, their team their teammate is still gone. I'm just gonna sit in net and watch. All right, so I don't think anyone does left left goes here. Yeah, everyone's kind of just going for the ball. So if you didn't know, there is a, a, a hidden rule in Rocket League in, in at least North America where everyone goes left goes. And it's helpful to know with teammates who don't communicate whether whether or not you should go on the ball. So I see like at this rank, people leave really early whenever a goal happens. Like they don't, people don't like losing <laughs> at this rank. No one likes losing, but like it's not a big deal. You know, it's just a game of Rocket League. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? browser has got another goal. It's unfortunate people keep leaving the game uh, when they go down a single goal. Because they can probably help and, and, and try to help other teammates like get another goal back. And you can see Smokey ended up scoring a, a, a full field goal, a sniper goal as they call it. Faking? I don't know what's... Like, this guy keeps saying faking. I'm not really sure <laughs> what he's trying to tell us. It's like speaking in Morse code. Good try. A nice finish. There we go. These games are always so interesting to go back to. It just feels so different. To the way that we play Rocket League at the higher level, but let's pop that up, see what happens. And I scored. Okay, well, I feel like we can't even get through a full game without people rage quitting. I mean, I know the last episode we did, or last game, we did uh, get a full game, but that's the only one so far. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Oh, good save, though. All right, well, that was, uh, that was a game of Rocket League, for sure. Well played. <laughs> Let's move on to the last game and see where we end up. I think that... Oh, that guy was silver one, actually. So, there we go. So, apparently people just in bronze like to rage quit a lot. And maybe that's why you're in bronze. Because you can't play through a full game. <laughs> in this last game, I definitely need to make sure that I don't shoot any ball towards target. Because I gotta, gotta remember that it probably will go in. And that's not really what I want. I want to just keep pressure, but also, you know, hold on. Uh, you know, let my teammates, you know, kind of carry. But so far, I've kind of made the mistake of just shooting the ball towards target once, and then it goes in, and people get really mad, and then just rage quit. So I gotta be really careful. I gotta be selective of what what I go for. We're jumping into 425 though, 400. So you can see that we're actually oh 420. Let's go. Um, we're actually moving into a decent rank. This is gonna be silver one or two. So like I said, it's already we're already like pretty far um, into the second rank of Rocket League, and uh, it's unfortunate that I can't start in bronze like I did last time, but I understand why. So I'm just going to wait, wait behind here, see what my teammates do. I'm still last man. To get it clear. There we go. So the ball's spilling into the corner here. I'm going to go early to get in the way of that player. So now the ball popped over my head. I'm going to move behind my teammates. See my teammates going into net, but he can move up. Let's see if I bump him forward. Here we go. Bump forward. Go forward, man. <laughs> you can get it. We got Koa sitting in net again. I'm going to try and get him out of net here. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, I love this, like, like going for the, the bump for the guy upfield. Good pop as well. I'll stay with this. Since, since the guy popped it for me, let J Jacquard go up now and, and keep pressure. He's trying to time it. I can see he, he, he kind of knows what he wants to do, but he just can't execute it mechanically. I'll pop this up the wall and see if it rolls up in front. It's been pretty dangerous for them. Good clear, though. Ko went to net again, so I'm going to be careful to... Give them some space. Once again, I want them to play the game and, and sort of help out the team. This is the closest game we've had so far, which is good. There we go. Koa's kind of lost. See if my teammate can get a chip. Oh my gosh! Okay, chill! I'm going to try and stall some time in the corner here. Pretty dangerous. I'm going to wait for the ball to spill. Good touch from the opponent, though. I'm going to move across. My teammate could have been the one doing that, but... I'm going to fake this aerial. By faking, I mean I'm going to try and go for it and miss on purpose. Because you should be trying to go for those early. You can see because I didn't touch the ball, the opponent had the ball. And if I go early here, I'll beat all of them. So that's kind of what you want to try to aim for is in those positions, try to go for an aerial touch to be the first person to the ball. Once again, if I just keep spilling this ball towards the goal like this, at one point or another, it's going to spill in, in front and hopefully it'll be an open goal. Close. Ooh. So I'm last man here. Be careful of a straight shot. There we go. He put it towards target. Because I'm back, I can clear it to the corner. If I if I have sat up field, then there would be no one behind me. So I gotta be really careful. I'm I'm, I'm constantly monitoring where the players are on the field. 
constantly watching what's happening. I'm still paying attention to the fact that there's someone in the net, so I know there's only two players to worry about upfield. And this is what this is why being back like that isn't great, because you actually lower the pressure for the opponents. Like right here, Koa's in net again. I'm gonna get him to move out. There you go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. This guy just like sits in net and then I bump him and then he decides to move around the field again. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You can get it. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, so it's gonna roll around the wall. As I see that, I'm gonna wait right here because the ball's gonna spill towards me. Get a nice 50 50. I am last man still, so be a little careful. There we go. I'm just gonna clear to the side. Okay, I've been doing a lot, so I gotta slow down. I haven't like I've been touching the ball a lot and getting a lot of center balls. That's why my that score is so high. I'll be a little bit careful here. There we go. Just tap this down. So we're into OT in this final game. What a game it's been, by the way. <laughs> Here's Koa going into net again. Get 50 50. Pretty dangerous. Drip might miss this. Get 50 50 is pretty dangerous. I'll wait for this to spill down to me. Then make a touch. Then touch again and see if it rolls in front. If I bump this guy, it could be pretty dangerous for them. Oh, good try for my teammate. So Koa got a, a center ball there. It's a good shot, and that's gonna be in too. Jacquard, nice job in the corner. Well played. Ended up that they got an assist and a and a and a, uh, and a goal there. Not too bad, honestly. Uh, my teammates played pretty well. I think that Koa needs to learn not to just sit in net. And they're, the opponents are pretty upset, but solid game. 12 centered balls, you know, it finally finally ended up being a goal, but it wasn't even from one of my 12 centered balls. So good try by me. Uh, but that was, that was a good episode. I mean, it was a good first start to the, the new series. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, have a great day and we'll catch you guys in the next one.